to the boss. Barry, he's got a three-year-old son. During his off time, he loves to just sit and hang out with the family. He loves to hang out with his son. Uh, his son, despite being three years old, loves competing, loves mixed martial arts, loves training. He's over at Jackson Judo at the young age of three. He's thinking of having his son, George, shoot a box Yep, and he, this is another man where all he wants to be is a champion. He wants to perform like a champion. He wants to go out there and, and showcase his skills. We heard this from a lot of fighters yesterday. Uh, I'm excited to see this man fight. I've never seen a fighter. The fight the bad man is the guy, you know, his parents both work. He wanted him to stay occupied after school because he could get so a lot of trouble. He started jiu-jitsu at six years old. Transitioned to mixed martial arts at age 17. One year later, he made his mixed martial arts debut at the age of 18. He was watching Pride at the time when all the legends were competing. It was great motivation for him. He always looked up to the shooter box fighters. But he said flat out, he used to love watching Sakuraba compete. For those that have never seen him compete, he says, look, I'm a very aggressive fighter. I inherited the shooter box way. Here we go. Big Chen, there's a corner tonight. But Dean Nemkov, the protege of the great Peter Emelianenko. This is a guy who is all business. Ask him flat out. You know, what do you do when you're not training? What do you do in your spare time? He just looked us dead in the eye and he says, Look, man, I don't have a hobby. I train. During my time off, I train. But when I do have time off, I'm going to spend it with my family, my wife, and my 14 month old daughter. She is finally starting to walk uh, and she's beginning to talk. That is my priority. I don't need to hang out with anyone else other than my family. He does, and he has any expectations for her just yet. He just wants her to become a good human being. He believes wholeheartedly you have to have good will about you, you have to be a good person, and you have to share that with your family. Uh, his rising fights are some of the most memorable ones. This guy, he loves the atmosphere, he loves the operation, he loves the production value that Ryzen has, and he simply wants to be the best. He wants to make fighting take it to a different life center for him. He wants to make sure fighting they can make him and his family comfortable. All of his wins have come by KO or submission in the first round. Let's not forget, he is a three-time national and 2014 world combat softball champion. And this is the belt he is trying to add to his fighters. And th this is another fighter that grew up watching. Brian watching this whole event, and now we see a fight in it. You know, he, he loved the Japanese culture. No surprise, Joe, his favorite fight is Fedor versus Mirko Kopa. He says he feels blessed to be able to fight now in a platform uh, that he watched as a child. He looks And tonight, he will vie to some way, somehow, get yep. into that tournament. And this is our reserve bout. This is that swing bout that we talked about, that one of these guys could <laughs> jump back in this tournament. tournament. <laughs> Akakoda, 185cm, 104.8kg, 
Now don't forget the tournament rules for here arise in first round is five minutes, the second round also five minutes. If they cannot determine a winner, we go to a third round which will only be judged in that manner. Kicks and knees to the head of a down opponent are definitely legal. What is not legal are elbows to the head. No bows, baby. And we all know why, Joe. You're not going to throw elbows in a tournament format. You don't want these guys cut up. You don't want them. You want them to be able to continue. Oh, no time wasted right, here by no. Vicente. Already, oh. already going in there, gets the takedown. It's exactly what he wants. He wants to use his jiu-jitsu versus Nemkov. Yeah, I think Metcalf got his um, foot caught in that ring and went down. He's back to his feet again. They're in a clinch. He's fighting out of it. This is definitely the Brazilian wants to bring this to the ground. He want to make this a jiu-jitsu match. What does he need to do here? Because he's got that right underhook, and he does take it down to the ground. Is this where he wants to be? Yeah, well, I mean, it depends. I, you know, he's very good on top with his ground and pound, which we're seeing here. He's in a half, you know, he's full guard, actually. So. That overhand right is landing, Joe. He is landing thunderous punches from the inside the guard here. <coughs> Gotta be careful though, you cannot leave your arm extended there against a guy like Vicente. Yeah, this is this is right out of the Fedor page book. Oh, and a beautiful two, goes. three, he's, he's out. out, he's out. He's what out, baby. This is exactly what Vadim Nekopov wanted to do in this tournament. Yeah, that's how you do it right there. You finish that fight quick, he's a reserve bout. Now he's nice and healthy and safe. He might be pulled back in this tournament. This is exactly what everybody in this tournament wants to do. Get in and get out as quickly as possible. I said it when the broadcast started. Vadim Nemkov is the guy we may want to pay attention to because if somebody gets injured, this guy is fresh. And I believe Fedor, his coach, is happy as heck at home right now. That was right on the, right on the playbook right there. Ground and pound, full guard. You don't see a lot of people get knocked out. Being in full guard with that overhand right, I mean, he, he has extreme power here. Look at him. And we Boom. saw that there with the beautiful right hand. First things first, we do want to make sure Allison Vicente is fine. We do have the paramedics inside the ring right now. He is breathing. We just want to make sure that he is conscious because those thunderous punches there that were landed were absolutely masterful by Nemkov. You see there the <laughs> eyes rolling back in his head. We want to make sure that he is okay. They are lifting his neck up right now, ensuring that he is breathing properly. I can see it from our position, Joe. His chest cavity is breathing. He's perfectly fine. It's a matter of making sure he is conscious. Oh, there he is. He's there getting he up now. He's helping up. We should get him out of the cage here and move forward with this tournament. He's a bit dazed, obviously dazed and confused. Yeah, well, he knows what's up. He's, got, he's having a hard time walking right now. Obviously, you get that when your, your brain shuts down the way it is. Hopefully, he makes it down the stairs. But Nemkov, what a performance here by Vadim Nemkov. No doubt making Fedor and Team Fedor proud as this guy here now right. is going to stand by potentially Joe, competing in two days, competing potentially in the tournament. He'll be paying close attention to exactly what is happening. But thankfully, Alison Vicente is perfectly fine as he walks by our broadcast table. But tonight, it's all about Nemkov. Right now, he's going to get back to the room. He's going to relax. He's going to make sure he's going to likely going to want to ice his hands, Joe. Ice his knuckles. Yeah, I, I believe he can ice his knuckles or just go rest. I believe that that was exactly what his coaches wanted. He wanted a...